Okay, so first band coming in, Stitches, like usual, out of well met. Their second band uh, is usually Falstad, and if it's not Falstad, they uh, sometimes go for Malfurion. Um, we've also seen oh, just way too many um, sheets right now. Nope, uh, just Malfurion and Falstad so far, at least in the games I've observed. And oh, interesting. Polish team, um, I'm just gonna call them my po. <laughs> um, they're gonna go for, for the ban on Abathur. And Abathur um, is one of the picks that Wellmet likes to take. Going for Abathur and Zagara, um, that's one thing they um, they really excel at. And especially Especially Zagara is just one of those heroes they um, they can just control really well and work. They can just work with her. Um, the game uh, should be coming up pretty soon here. I mean, drafting uh, does take a little bit, but uh, no more than five minutes. Okay, so first pickup out of Wellmet was Tassada. And the counter pick by my po they're grabbing Uther and Tychus. Really solid pickups there. Excellent dependable pickups. Um, Uther, Tychus, Tassadar. Uh, all three of those guys, you usually see them as the first picks in, in all of these games. So, Stitches. Abther. Then we have... Tassadar, and usually right now Tassadar is being played uh, as the damage dealer, so somewhat like an assassin, but uh, depending on what the opposing team does and depending on their composition, they can also play him a little bit more tanky, a little bit more um, geared towards that supporter role. And the next pick is Arphis. Yeah, they do like to pick their Arphis. Makes for a solid stun and a really good warrior. He just tanks that damage so well. Let's see what other assassins they're gonna go with here. Um, oh, Zagara, just like I told you guys. Zagara is amazing. Well met just knows to play her so well. Um, she has a, an amazing pushing potential. She can still stand her ground uh, in team fights, and if you hit that maw just right, you just win in every single team fight. But um, gotta hit that maw. But I think uh, she's a good choice um, in in any well, pretty much any composition, she, since uh, she does have that uh, really solid pushing power. Um, Malfurion, um, Nido Scolani, uh, Sconali says uh, Malfurion is not a worthy ban. Um, I would agree, especially since uh, they also uh, ban Stitches first uh, in most of these games. Um, I would agree there. So um, Malfurion is uh, is a well is a ban worthy hero if uh, the other team did pick up stitches because then you can just play that um, that route um, just time it exactly for, for the stitches hook to come in and um, this is gonna just pick off any any solo character and it's just a n really nice eraser, eraser st strategy okay so Felset is the next pickup here out of my poem and I don't think that well met likes to see that since, um, yeah, we talked about this before, usually Stitches and Felstead are their bands. Uh, we're gonna go into the next... Oh, the bands were uh, Tyriel and Muradin. Wow! Wow! The mind games are strong with this one. My Po just really outpicking, uh, outpicking Wilmet right now. Banning Muradin, uh, one of Nomi's favorite heroes. And going um, going for Felstead, <laughs> what a solid composition. Let's see what they can make out of this though. 
Um, we do have the Tyrael ban on Well Met's side. A little bit surprised there. Um, they could make Tyrael work for themselves. But the next pick is going up for Well Met. And they should pick their support now, and they're going for Brightwing. Again, Brightwing. Okay, so um, that's something new we see out of them this week. But it worked that last game, and um, they uh, played her really well. And a new picked up by my Poe. Wow. My gosh, this, this is an incredibly tough uh, composition. Uh, Wellmet is going to run into issues here. If they have a strong showing in the early game, I think they can definitely beat them. But if they lose out, like in the game um, versus uh, versus barely online, and even a little bit uh, versus uh, what's the other guy's name? I already forgot. Dynamite Ducks. Uh, they're going to be in trouble because I mean this this is just so solid. Having Uther, uh, Tychus, Valstead, and Anoop in there. Um, Uther and Anoop, good for initiations. Uh, Valstead and Tychus dishing out so much damage. Wow. Um, let's see who the next warrior is going to be, or if they're even going to go for a triple a triple assassin composition. Nova is the last pickup for well met. Hmm. Let's see how that works out. Um, actually a little bit surprised. They're gonna be in a tough... Yeah, they're, they're gonna have a really tough time. Um, early game, they only have Arthas to engage in these team fights, And then, later on, they have to rely on the Maw. Oh jeez, this is gonna be tough. And the last pick, Zeratul. I think, uh, as far as the team composition goes, this game is already over, but we'll see how it turns out if my Poe can actually uh, control these heroes um, as well as they choose them. Okay, Zeratul. <sighs> Triple Assassin combination. Tychus, Feldstead, Zeratul. Um, it really all depends on Zagara. She's gonna have such a tough job here. If her maw doesn't hit correctly, um, well, Matt is just gonna be bursted down. Um, with a noob there, with Uther there, they can just pull out the stun. Um, if somehow they they escape the stun without any without taking a single hero out, uh, Zara Tool can go for the Void Prison, just control um, control the zoning. Um, by that time, a noob will have the stun up again and. Oh man, this this is gonna be tough for Uh Is the lobby up yet? Uh, I don't think it's up yet. Yeah, Skynox, you might be surprised by the Muradin ban, but this is actually perfectly countering what uh, what Wellmet has usually put up with so far. Yeah, good point. Uh, Quipes are just uh, pointing out that uh, Brightwing is a nice counter to Uther. If he jumps in there and wants to uh, wants to put on his CC uh, with the Divine Storm, she should she, uh, she can just go for the Polymorph. That's true. So no lobby yet. We should be getting into the game here pretty soon, though. I think they should take Nature's Prophet and Puck. Well, Malfurion, <laughs> which be I think Nature's Prophet, if if I get that correctly, and Puck. Puck is Brightwing, right? Yeah, I think Puck translates translates into Brightwing. I've not played uh, Dota in ages and only played a couple matches, but I think so. <laughs> you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. All right, respect bands. Oh yeah. And there we go, invite is coming up. So we should should be getting ready here with the next game.
Any updates on the alternate game? Well, Matt shouldn't have banned Turiel and banned Zeratul uh, Zero instead. Uh, um, what was the order in which they banned here? Mm, well, they banned before. Uh, they banned before a noob. So I think. No, I mean, I would agree with with the Turiel ban. Having Turiel in there as well. I mean, both Noob and Tyrael are a good ways to do this. And banning Zeratul, if you only see the first three heroes going for the Zeratul ban, no, no, I, I don't think... I don't think that's something they would have done. No me best mirrored in EU. <laughs> he keeps claiming that, and so far I have to agree with him. <laughs> Alright, so are we ready yet? <laughs> House oops. Gotta use the toilet. <laughs> Get a Zag. Stop spamming. The game will start pretty soon. We're already in the lobby. Um House Ops is on a quick bio break and then we'll get started. This game is an alpha go, stop hyping teams. Well, I mean, if you don't hype anything, well, I'm not really hyping, but just stating the obvious, stating the facts right now. I mean, of course, um, anyone can just come out of uh, come out of nothing and uh, make something happen here in Heroes right now. But that's that's the beauty of it. Uh, that's the beauty of this developing scene. I'll look at Feldstad's epic ults. Yeah, we'll see. Feldstad, I mean Uther, Anoop, Feldstad. That right there can be game ending, and then you just, for good measure, throw in Tychus and Zeratul. Jeez! <laughs> Wild A click appears. <laughs> uh, there will be a rematch? Oh, okay, so alternate um, will go towards a rematch. That's quite unfortunate. That's gonna stall this whole bottom part of the bracket. Um, by the way, if you guys like the cast, I'll be online um, maybe not tomorrow, but on Thursday for the Rocket vs. Sphere Invitational. I'll start out with the English cast of the upper bracket, then switch to German, uh, if you like that. And then um, on Friday and Saturday, well, pretty much all week, all this week and all of next week, there's so many tournaments going on. All of those uh, will be casted on twitch.tv slash gxxshock, so uh, follow me there if um, you do like the casting. If not, you can just drop me a line, tell me what I need to improve on. Um, still very much in construction, uh, this whole thing. Alright, so I think they're about ready. Uh, Hasu Ops, is he back yet? Nope, not ready up. Jeez. They are taking their time here. Let me just do a quick update on Twitter, just to keep everyone informed and up to speed. Okay. Or the tweet. Yeah. Well met continues their rampage through the enter the Nexus uh, open the Nexus open the Nexus Cup. Can Zucker, Nomi, and Hasuops continue their stomp? Ah, 
way too long. <laughs> Damn those 140 uh, characters. Okay, where can I? Okay, let's do it. Got that tweet posted and we're loading into the map. Wow, what a timing. Just impeccable. That's how you want it to happen. Alright, and once again we'll see Cursed Hollow. Uh, okay, so I'm not gonna type the whole name of the team in there. I'll just type my po. <laughs> um, which someone told me before what it means uh, something for my keyboard so this probably means for my we can also just type in claviature but that's probably too long <laughs> and i'll just screw it up anyway so we'll stay with that for the for the meantime all right let's get started here <clears throat> on the left side here on cursed hollow our team in blue it is well met and they sport a tassadar manned by hasuabs we have Nomi on Zagara. Nova is controlled by Hysterica. Arthas is played by Pausen Clown. And we have Hyruki on the right wing. Their opponents in the red on the right side of the map. Maipo with Tychus, played by Zaiku. And we have Ufer played by Koop. Zoltro is playing a new Barak. And Zeratul is played by RDA RD. And on false set we have Nicker. Nickers. Nickers Q. And we have a little bit of a gank set up down here. Uh, with Felstead, Anub, and Zeratul. Ooh, that's a lot of stun potential. Brightwing's gotta watch out. But then then again, another nice setup on the top lane. Zeratul's probably gonna uh, Zagara's probably gonna move top. They're they're really close to the gates. This could work out beautifully. And the gank squad and bot. Surprisingly moved away from Brightwing, but now, ooh, missing the stun on Tassadar, and he usually can get away, but a good stun coming out of Uther. But there comes the phase shift, he gets away. Uh, Zagara not getting anything done in the top lane. And uh, yeah, there we go. She just puts on the pressure. Let's see, can they make it here in the middle lane? Yes, they is doing a good job so far, just keeping that uh, keeping that middle line going. We have the easy camp being grabbed here by Zeratul and Nuke. Um, they shouldn't run into too much trouble. Um, should be an easy grab for them. Uh, meanwhile, another gank attempt up top. Zagara just doing a good job, just creeping this up. There comes the stun, but Tychus just pushes himself out of there. Ooh, Zagara actually taking a lot of damage here. Arthas should come in to uh, stop and tank a little bit of that. And down in bot lane, faults that. He might be in trouble, but it's only Brightwing and Nova. Not, uh, yeah, not too much of a gang potential with those two. And everyone's moving back into the middle. Should see the first uh, tributes coming in here pretty soon. I think uh, 2.15 should be the time again. And Zeratu moving back. Getting a little bit uh, tickled there by that storm. And they're already moving uh, towards these positions where the tributes could spawn at uh, a noob. Oh, kind of with a predict stun there. Not quite hitting anything there. And yeah, moving towards the usual Gather positions. And, and the tribute is coming in on top. Oh, gotta say, my pose in a pretty good position. They already got three heroes up there, and Zagara might be trapped. Zero two comes in, but a little bit miss on the on the cleave. Oh, that's unfortunate. Nomi, you're getting really lucky there. And now he's in position. They did grab the um, the easy camp on top lane, and I think uh, with the um, with the disrupts coming out of Nomi, they should be in a good position uh, to at least stop this. Oh, nice stun coming in! Nomi actually can't get a little bit of damage by Zoltro there, and a nice little disrupt coming out of Hiroki. But so far, no one really um, having the guts to take this tribute. They want to at least focus someone down here. And now there comes the channel out of Nomi, and another nice stun getting Nomi and Hiroki. Oh, Arthas taking a lot of damage, the cleave comes in, but a nice polymorph on Edred, he gets away. And Falset also getting away, they're really cautious about taking this tribute. Uh, Arthas is pretty low right now, and they're all running out on, on mana. 
I gotta say, my pole right now, uh, maybe a little bit up in this fight, but Tyke is actually completely out of position. There comes again the disrupt on Nova. They're not gonna grab that tribute all too soon. Tychus needs to move back here though. But this oh, this push on top is is really troublesome for them. Falset might be able to stop the channel. Yes he can. Hasuops getting disrupted there again. There comes the move in and an amazing stun out of a noob getting all three characters. Jeez, that was an amazing stun. Tychus, can he disrupt again? Yes he can. Just throwing that grenade in there, but oh, Oh, disrupting one of them, but Nomi might get it. No! Last minute disrupt coming out of Ufer. But I can't quite engage yet, and there we go. Finally grabbing that tribute. That was probably the longest fight for a single tribute I've seen uh, in, well, in, in this little hero's career so far. Alright, uh, with the first tribute down, it's not too much trouble for my Poe. But um, that was definitely a strong showing right there for well met. No kills so far, so um, not that much of a level difference right now. Uh, well met a little bit behind, but not even half a level. And they did um, did some solid pushing here on this top lane. Nomi again doing this a really good job here on the top. And we might see the next fight incoming. They wanted to grab the hard camp, but Arthas is moving in. There comes the stun. Anubis is right there, but Zeratul uh, on cooldown with his cleave. That's quite unfortunate. And the next tribute is incoming. I think this time around, my Po definitely has a little bit of a better position. But oh gee, Sagara? Not quite there yet. And they don't quite want to go in there. Oh, what a stun! But not quite getting Hysterica. He's just standing there for some reason. I don't know, maybe. Um, oh, good stun coming in on Uther. But he tries channeling once more. And yeah, Noob and everyone just giving some really nice zoning right there. Pulse Clown already so low, maybe maybe Nova can get him? No, not quite yet. But Falset is right there, maybe he can make the jump happen. Nope, oh, Nova spots him. And there comes the Oracle. But yeah, what an amazing body block coming out of Zoltro. Another stun going down on Pulse Clown, but they can't quite catch him. Brightwing really doing a good job healing everyone up. Uh, Tassadar doing the shielding right there. And they just keep him alive for so long. But now Nova taking a lot of a lot of damage again. And they finally grab that tribute. Now it's one for one. Both of these teams have a single tribute. And we'll see how everything turns out. Uh, it's just so even with the levels right now. I think uh, my Poe is going to go for that hard camp again. Nova spots it though. So let's see if they want to make something happen here. Uh, Uther is keeping Tassadar occupied, so they're not gonna go for that just yet, but Tyke is caught completely out of position, and they just stun him down. No worries at all. But the hard camp should be taken here. No, it's not quite ready yet. And Tassadar just moving in. They might actually steal it right now. Wow! Oh gosh, this is just complete dominance right there from well met really good job grabbing that uh, that hard camp and so early on as well they're gonna have a little bit of trouble here stopping this uh, split push right now um, they might actually grab this fort on top Zeratu is right there he gets a cleave off but not really hitting all that much but they just want to get rid of the minions want to get rid of uh, of the creep right there uh, otherwise the guy can just move in there whenever she pleases next tributes coming up everyone's moving Everyone's in position, and well, I think Hiruki is just gonna get it without any real issues. So, two tributes going for well met. Two tributes taken. Felset is in trouble. Zagara moves in, but with a quick dash, he just gets away. They're gonna go for their boss now. And same thing goes for my Po. They already almost have him, which makes that last tribute fight even more vital uh, for either of these teams uh, especially especially well met right now because if they they should hit that timing just right they waited a little bit on the boss so they should hit that timing just right if they get the next tribute the boss is just gonna do that much more damage um, if they get the curse now let's see where it spawns though my po is moving towards the right side of the map this is a, spo a possible spot right now since we did have the other tributes um, spawning top and on the left side, so it might be possible that they need to stop this engagement, uh, they need to stop this boss from pushing right there. Gate is almost falling already. 
And, yep, there it goes down. Tower in tops also taken out. And the tribute spawns way up top. They need to deal with this boss first. This is really troublesome right there for my po. And there comes the shock and awe. With the Void Prism getting at least Arthas. But Zeratul, oh, he's so close to dying. Oh, and he's close to the boss as well. Maw comes out. And the good precision strike, but not quite getting anyone yet. And an amazing stun coming out of Zoltro. Wow, that was just perfect out of him. But they can't, don't have quite the damage to actually burst someone down right here. They're all pretty low. The Odin form is popped. And Nova wants to chase down there. No, they have to retreat. And they're gonna go for that tribute now. They have a little bit of an edge. Should, should get there a little bit faster. But we have Falset and Anub both on their way. And yeah, Arfis, uh, Falset might be able to grab it. Flap your wings and get there. Come on, don't be a chicken. No, he wants to get the disrupt off. Yuki's there right away. Oh, nice stun coming off Zoltro. But Nomi, he does get away for now. Ooh, and the dash out of Nickers, but he's taken out. Oh, Arthas is stunned. He's on the follow. It's 4v5. They can't really take that fight, but they really don't want to lose that tribute either. But they're all so low. Zeratul's so low. Tyga's so low. They can't take that engagement, and so they have to give up on the tribute. Luckily enough, the boss was taken out before. Never mind. First fort in top is gonna fall. Well, Matt was gonna get that nice little experience boost. Um, middle, I think, should be fine. Uh, one of the towers is already gone, but they have three heroes there. Rufus also moving um, towards this position. Um, they're gonna be in a little bit of trouble now, though. Um, all the ultimates should be up. And we got some decent damage here on the fort. Tychus moves in. Uh, nice shielding by Tassila, though. Arthur is not taking too much damage in that engagement. They can't really get a good hook on them. Uh, ooh, good stun here on Zoltro. And what? What an amazing polymorph on ADRD. He gets out of there, and the Maw just comes in, saves the day, getting two of these players. That actually saved Ufer for a little bit, but not too long. He gets taken out, and oh, they're so low. Arf is taking a lot of damage, but not really doing a good job focus firing there. But Right Wing is taken out in the engagement, and falls there, just falls. ADRD is in a little bit of trouble as well, but no follow-up coming out of Nova. That forward, so low though, and getting Ufer and falls in an engagement. Uh, really nice pickup here for well met. So they're doing a really good job countering that day. Just, well, I mean, the amazing opening they had um, with just the Garrett pushing in top lane, doing some decent damage, uh, picking up some early kills, and then, well, just just dragging a little bit on and toward, towards that uh, level 10 talent till they got the Maw, and now they can, they have that ability to just control the game with that. And I gotta say, I mean, um, my my Po is definitely not doing the best job focus firing right now. They they kind of want to focus on Arthas, but um, not not the best idea. I mean, if you can't really focus Nova out, at least try to go for Zagara. If you get her down um, before she gets the Maw out, that just wins you the fight right there. All right, I'll grab the easy camp now. Oh, Falset is in a little bit of trouble. Oh, dashes away just in time. Actually, he saved his ass right there. Okay. Asuops might be picked up. No, face shift. He always gets away. It's so hard to pick up Tassada. Um, trying to hide in the bush right there in the mid lane. Maybe they can make something happen here. Uh, with the lights going there and four players, uh, five players in position, they shouldn't have any real issues dealing with us. And the boss is gonna be taken by go uh, by my Pope. Same thing goes for uh, well met. I'll just go for that boss. Probably deal with the easy easy merge though in the first uh, in the bot lane. Uh, wait, never mind. They're going for the boss straight away. Um, so the easy mercs will do a little bit of damage, take out those towers, um, get some damage done on, on the keep maybe? No, Brightwing comes in, uh, should deal with the minions here in no time. 
gather tribute. I must have it. Zaka's not playing today. Did we see Zaka before? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Red uh, team has destroyed a fort. Yeah, the fort was taken out here by the boss. And they come to counter their own boss and well good positioning here for where I'm at. They'll just grab that tribute. No contest coming out of my po. They're, they're in trouble. I mean they need to stop this boss right there. But so far, even um, yeah. Even levels. Let's check out the talents. Level 16 talents are really crucial. We have Sticky Power out of Brightwing to slow the movement uh, in Polymorph. Then uh, two charges on the Hunter Killer with broad expansion. Crippling Shot out of Nova. Um, we have the Dimensional Warp coming out of Tassila. Uh, that's a little bit interesting. And uh, Stone Skin on Arthas. Uh, oh, never mind. I, I was a little bit confused. Dimensional Warp, of course, makes sense uh, for Tassila. Um, Let's jump over here, not to miss any next engagements. Uh, double bombs out of Zeratul. Executioner coming out of Tychus. Makes sense, of course. And rewind for Nubarak. Ooh, this is this is really strong. Overdrive coming for Falstad. And gathering radiance for Uther. Next tribute is up. It's one for one again. And Maipo is going for it. Tyke is already in position, Nova moves down there, she'll get the disrupt off. And a nice storm there on Zero Tool. Taking a little bit of damage. We're met now in a good position to take this. Uh, they have a nice little concave set up. Everything's still somewhat in disarray right there for my Po. And just a little update right there. Um, ATN stomped SK. Guccio is just OP according to uh, Sound Shazerka. Oh, good stun on on uh, on Arthas, but they can't really capitalize on it. Not in position quite yet. It's a little bit of a disarray. Uh, ooh, they're in trouble. Everyone's just clumped up down there. I think uh, if Nomi hits that maw just right, uh, everything will be in control here for Wellmet. He can't quite get there. Ufer just rolls in there. Can he get the can he get the stun off? Oh, a noob comes in. There comes the maw. Uh, just getting one one hero though, and a good void prison, but also trapping Zoltro. That's actually a little bit a misfortunate for them. And Hysterica tanked a little bit of damage. There comes the ultimate out of Hasu, and he does get away. But Zeratul and Fault set falling in that engagement. Uh, nice pickup um, for for uh, for well met. But will they grab the tree root? I don't think they can. They're making the comeback happen. There's Polymorph going down on Tychus and they take him out! Wow, a little bit unfortunate getting uh, getting caught there out of position. Luke moves in again. He wants to get the stun off, but they grab the tribute nevertheless. It's a little bit too late. And Polymorph again on the noob, but he's still so high on energy. He's gonna be fine. And I gotta say, so far, Wellmet really controlling this game again. Uh, just like these previous games. They really are one of the strongest teams. Um, I really want to say, f see them face off against SK and My Insanity. Fortunately, My Insanity not in Europe right now. They're still chilling out uh, on the west coast somewhere in California. Enjoying, enjoying the sunny shores. Yeah, my po definitely in trouble right now. They don't really know what to do. They need to sit back. Uh, Sit back, not really relax, but instead defend and maybe get a good engagement off, but that's not gonna work out. Oh, an amazing shock and all, but nothing to really do more damage, nothing to catch them. Uh, Zagara might be in trouble though, in top there, taking a lot of damage. Shield should be going down. Oh, the orbital strike comes in. Oh, Odin form taking a lot of damage right there. Arf is trapped again. Oh, Zero Tool, they might get him, just a single hit on him. Yep, he's taken down. They do get him. Arthas also again so low. One for one right there. And a disengage comes in from Maipo. Everyone just so low, but I think, I uh, think, Wellmet has a little bit more HP. They're gonna grab the tribute. Um, not gonna go for those hard knights, uh, for the hard camp though. My favor, heroes. Let your enemies know my wrath. Ooh, is that going for the, for the boss? That's interesting, but I mean. 
Oh, now they know. Now they know. They did have the clear voids put down. And this might be a little bit of a surprise for Wellmet. They have to disengage. Can they get away in time though? Zagara taking a little bit of damage there, but no one's following with her. But remainder of the team to dish out that damage. It's not gonna work out. And whoa, they're back already? Wanna go for that? Jeez. I mean they are cursed, but wow. It's a little bit ballsy going for the boss uh, right there if if they've already seen it the first time. Yeah, but it's really, uh, really hard for my pro to just go out right now. They can't even take their hard camp uh, without risking risking the next team fight, which would probably go in, into Wellmet's favor right now, um, especially with the way they've been handling the situation so far. But um, they try to do it with disrupts. Mm, might not work out. Tychus moves in from from bottom, but they did grab the boss, so no real reason to go back in there unless they can catch someone off guard. But Wellmatch just yeah, moving as a team, moving as a unit, and they can't really pick anyone. Can't really pick anyone off. So they do have that trouble of stopping the golem in top lane. And the next golem will be incoming right here. Uh, Arthas, Nova, and Tessa will take that out. And they're also gonna go for the hard camp afterwards. So that's a lot of pressure coming down, coming down bot lane pretty soon. And they just got done dealing with this golem, so they're gonna have to move back again. And they're just on the defensive right now. They need to take a good team fight in order to make a comeback happen. And I tell you what, that's not gonna be easy. Next, next camp will be taken. Hard camp already taken. Easy camp, maybe. I don't know. I mean, they don't have to take it right now. Um, by itself, it's probably not gonna do that much. But then again, I mean. It's gonna take so long for, for them to get up to three curses again, so they might as well just take it now. But they don't want to lose that um, that engagement potential right now with the knights on their way, with the boss on its way. They really want to support that boss. And it's moving in. Getting a good stun off. Tyke is already stunned. That's really surprising. Kind of a blunder there by uh, Zaiku. And Zagara just putting on the pressure. They might want to go for the easy camp right now, since they're not really supporting the boss anyways, but they already deal with the boss. Now the hard camp is going to be the next issue here. Knights are moving in towards the middle lane. Uh, they will do some decent damage on these towers if not dealt with. Yep, they are going to go for these, uh, for the sea giants. And you see the issue that my pos uh, has to deal with here. Um, I mean, they can't really move out. They have to deal with the with the knights there. Um, now I have to deal with the with the siege giants in bot lane. And all the while, um, T well met is just stacking stacking the pressure on. And they just have complete map dominance. They will be able to grab the next tribute if they want to, and just continue uh, continue pressuring on. Uh, I mean, if this just continues, they'll. Um, they'll be able to um, grab three more tributes, but oh, that's just that's future talk. That's future talk right there. Good stump coming down on Pausen Clown. Can they capitalize on it? Uh, no, doesn't look like it. Nice counter stun there. And Zagara <laughs> with an amazing creep spread down here. Really did some amazing work pressuring uh, pressuring the bot lane, and now they're gonna go for the tribute. Uh, maybe we'll see the skip by my pole and instead grab their hard camp. Since they're not going to be able to contest that tribute anyways, I think they should go for the hard camp. Yep. Tribute is gonna be taken by Arthas. And now they just wasted their time running over there instead of going for the hard camp. Those are the timing things, the little things that you just need to learn um, with more and more heroes matches, especially at the, in these top leagues. We're gonna grab the hard camp and now get out of there. Put on some, uh, put on some counter pressure. Easy camp finally being taken here for well met, and well, timer on the boss is still running. So for now, I'm gonna be waiting. Um, gonna be taking out these knights and then see where it goes from there. Uh, I think next next team fight will be coming then once the next tribute spawns. So let's have a look at the level 20 talents uh, that have been picked up. Um, I see Resurgence um, once on Arthas, once on Anoop. 
then of course Big Red Button on Tychus. Uh, by the way, they're setting up on the Tribute. Divine Hurricane, of course. Last of all, and um, Bolt of the Storm for Zero Tool. Resurgence. Oh, never mind. Gotta check this. We do have the rewind on the noob, so he can do the double stun if he wants to. And Hiruki once again going for that channeling early on. Also taking a lot of damage here. But they can't quite get that right engagement angle that they want. They need a good stun out of the noob. And they might be coming in now, but only getting stunned there on Arthas. Oh, the shock and all just hits so well! They might get Ufa right there, and he jumps out, gets the Divine Storm down, another good stun, and they jump right out of the Maw. So far, a really good fight for my Po, but Zeratul is going down, Ufa falling, wow, everything just spirals out of control, a noob falls, falls that falls, and Tyg is in trouble as well, but he might be able to get away. Uh, might be the only one to make it back alive. Uh, a noob with a resurgence. Ooh, Felts it actually in trouble. Uh, they might get a kill on him. Ah, pretty close. Uh, a noob moves back in. But not quite getting the kill there. Amazing fight out of Wormat. Uh, initially it looked pretty good for my Poe, but that Divine Storm just turned everything around. Now, they're gonna go for the, uh, for the Golem. Um, they have the time, still 50 seconds for Tychus, 20 seconds for Uther. I think uh, they're probably gonna move in with Uther and Zeratul back, but that still gives them 20 seconds and the time it takes them for, for them to get there. So enough time to take the boss and possibly even go for their own boss after this. And they're already up um, two tributes, so next tribute might be game ending right here for Wellmat. I think they can... They should be able to take it uh, with the next tribute if they be, if they are able to grab it. So my po, they need to take this next tribute. They need to stop Wellmet from getting it. So far, they have to deal. They have to deal with this pressure that's coming in. Oh, uh, kind of a missed clairvoyance. I don't know why that was coming in there. Tribute is coming up, and oh, Hiroki with the steal, amazing steal. And look at that impeccable timing, again out of well met. They're gonna grab the boss, um, it should be there with enough DPS for... Um, uh, considering they have enough DPS, it should get there just in time to dish out some more damage on the bot lane. And they still have to deal with the pressure that's incoming on top. And the boss already hitting the Nexus, getting a little bit of damage done there. Um, minions of course falling so quickly now that Curse is up. And now they're just gonna push, they're gonna grab the easy camp as well. No, go for the hard camp before. Um, I think Zagara could have sold if she like wanted to. But they wanna have that a little bit quicker. Uh, maybe not not such a good timing, but they should be able to get there. Uh, and the knights will do some work on the on the mid lane. So boss gets there. Still 20 seconds left on the curse. So it should get some decent damage done. And now where well, is moving in, oh, they're just gonna let the boss do its work and instead go push down the mid. I think that's a good decision considering that my Po is completely out of position down there and it will take him for some time to go up there and the keep is gonna fall for sure. They're probably gonna take up that, that tower as well. And now Nexus already taking damage, the catapult is hitting everything there and we might see the final go out of well met here soon. Oh, they're gonna steal the hard camp. Oh, look at everything just working out so beautifully. Knights are moving in. They're still occupied with the knights. This gives Wilm at the time to take the camp. No real issues, so the next knights are coming in. And meanwhile, we have the next round of minions just walking on in, on the top lane, with a catapult. No catapult in bot lane, should be coming in with the next wave. And we already have the catapult here on the mid lane as well. So now, just a really solid push. I don't know, they don't really need to go for that easy camp, but they can, of course. I mean, all the mobs that are not dealt with, all the mercs that can just freely hit the Nexus right now, just help them out so immensely. Because that way, they can just sit back a little bit and don't have to take all the engagements. Since they can just uh, try to backdoor into, into my post base, maybe find an engagement angle that, uh, that suits them. 
who's there to a little bit out of position here, trying to deal with these battle uh, catapults. Next one's coming in. And, wow, another steal on the easy mercs. Oh, wow. The timings just all work out here for well met. I'm gonna grab the easy mercs, no contests by my Po. Uh, maybe, but camp's already taken, so they, they'll just get the hell out of there. Oh, nice stun! Maybe good body block here coming in. Yeah, Pausen Pound is trapped. Can they get a bit damage off though? No, Zeratu goes down. And there comes the shock and awe. Oh no, Zeratu is actually still alive! He needs to get out of there though. Oh, Nova comes in. She will get the kill on Zeratu. But an amazing maw again will keep this battle in control for well met. And they take down Ufer. And also. No! Wow! What a deep dive out of Zoltro. He does get away. But well met. Just with an amazing team fight control. I think they're just gonna take this Nexus down now. They have a lot of damage coming in. And uh, no one going down. Uh, at least they do have the buyback out of Arthas. So. A lot of damage coming in. Arthas can probably tank, uh, tank for any engagements that they need, and yeah, they're gonna take the Nexus out. With that, gonna move on to the semi-finals here in the Open the Nexus Cup. Well, Matt, wow, these guys just off the hook. Whew.